Good morning, everyone, and welcome. Uh, let me start off by saying we know a lot more people are coming. Uh, I feel badly for them getting hung up in DC traffic. Um, many of you weathered that storm uh, this morning when I left yesterday. I went over to the law enforcement memorial where there was a national celebration. And uh, it, it was really interesting, by the way. We listened to law enforcement officers talking about a lot of the same issues we did, but from a different perspective. They just didn't put them in the context of the sustainable development goals. So then I hopped the cab. I was telling Louise to go to the train station. And two blocks later, and almost $10 on the meter, I got out and walked. Uh, traffic here can be a mess. So we know we have a, a, a lot more coming here. And again, welcome to the people who are participating through webcast. Uh, my name is Sheldon Greenberg. I'm a professor at Johns Hopkins University, and co-chair of the Forum on Global Violence Prevention. Let me re-announce that uh, what Louisa said, uh, uh, someone left a cell phone yesterday a black Motorola cell phone, so we have it, if it's yours. If not, we'll have a raffle at the end of the day. <laughs> uh, I've been tasked with wrapping up yesterday. Let me start off by saying it was an incredible day. The conversation was exceptional. I'm an avid note taker. And I took more notes yesterday than I have at any previous workshop that the forums put on uh, since I've been uh, associated with it. Yesterday, we talked a lot about the sustainable development goals, specifically a couple of them, and what they can do to shape our work, our community's norms, our organizational norms, policies, and more. We talked about how the SDGs can bring us together to prevent and reduce violence. We talked about how they can bring us together across sectors in advocacy for people in need. And we talked a lot about how we can come together to better serve victims and people at risk of becoming victims globally by focusing on the SDGs. We heard from a lot of great speakers yesterday, too many to mention and thank. In addition, we focused on making important connections relevant to violence prevention. The speakers used terms yesterday throughout the day like peace, collaboration, challenge, holistic approaches, community, urgency, evidence to action, wellness, and resiliency. And we heard those terms repeatedly. I thought it would be interesting, rather than rehash some of the discussions that were held during the various segments yesterday, to go over some of the quotes that came out of our discussion. So let me share some of them with you. And based on my note taking, I may have tweaked a couple of these a little bit, but pretty much here's what we said in this room yesterday. We have to focus on fear enveloped neighborhoods and communities. I never heard the term fear enveloped, but I'm going to steal that and use that in a book I'm doing on fear. We must connect collectively to the concept of peace. A comprehensive effort that tries to do too much can collapse under its own weight. We must deal with the short-term issues if we hope to achieve mid-term and long-term goals. 
collective violence is an extreme denial of the intent of the SDGs. We need to find new ways to achieve measurable reductions in the global burden of armed violence. A few more. We can operationalize 16.4 by doing more to divert firearms from illicit markets. This one's pretty important. The wellness of the individual is the foundation of the wellness of humanity. We're working to build a global network of champions. Pretty cool statements from some pretty cool people. Empowering women is at the heart of success of the SDGs. Just a couple more. Vulnerability and types of violence vary across nations and communities. We need to know what the epidemic is in local settings and for specific groups if we hope to make a difference. A really good one, Artur said this. The humanities and the sciences are coming together here now. Meaning what's going on in this room. Several people said, in one way or another, we must focus our efforts on our young people, especially young girls and those living in poverty, who are most vulnerable to all forms of violence. Finally, one of the quotes that was said uh, in our discussions yesterday, we must sustain and maintain the initiatives we have accomplished, our wins, and not lose them or let them decline due to new needs or political realities. Pretty cool stuff. And I'll close with a profound quote that I said yesterday that's as valid today as it was yesterday. Let's stick to the break times. And with that, I'll turn it over to Evelyn and start the first panel.